G'day guys, Aussie FIFA HD here, welcome back to yet another FIFA 21 tutorial on the channel lads. Today, oh, we're teaching you how to take a first touch. It might seem simple, but lads, my god, is it important. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into the intro and then we're going to jump into how you guys can take a first touch in the right direction every time. You receive the ball. Griezmann, three men around him to somehow find some space for another fantastic opening. The drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh, oh, what was the display there? It's absolutely it's ridiculous. The last to come on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest. We of talked margin. about Aussie Super. He's not here to make up the numbers. The touch technique that you guys are going to want to use is the R1. Button. Obviously that is the uh, Agile Dribbling button this year, but it is also very useful for taking a touch. I find myself, I use this quite a lot, especially when I'm finding the, the attacker's feet. Okay, I'm hitting his feet and I'm basically taking a touch either way to get that shot off and score a goal. The, reason, uh, the way you do it is you basically tap R1. You only really have to do it once, but to make sure it registers, I do it twice. I tap twice and uh, Basically, the striker will take the uh, ball into his possession, but take the right touch, and it will depend, obviously, on what way you are pointing with the left analog stick as you press the R1 button twice. But, okay, what I can guarantee you guys is that you will need to, uh, you know, use that R1 button to drag the ball away, because what it does is he, it'll, uh, the striker will basically let the ball roll along his foot to then turn and shoot, and that's the best thing about it. You can also use this in the midfield, okay? You can use this when you're under pressure from a defender, and uh, yeah, you basically can just turn them and make a run up the pitch, and that's how it works, basically. Um, but as I was saying, the most important thing is that you use this with your striker as well, because it's such a good way of taking a touch and having a shot. It will obviously depend what direction the defender is uh, on you, okay? If he's on the right, maybe you want to take a touch to the left because there's obviously more space that way. But that's for you guys to try and get better at. It's basically reading where the defender is going to be as you take that touch and taking the touch in the right direction. Lads, I'm going to say, if you take the touch in the right direction every time, how is the opponent going to get the ball from you, okay? If you take a touch away from the defender, they can't get it. If you take a touch towards the defender, they're going to make a tackle, aren't they? So it's important that you guys obviously practice pointing with the left stick in the right direction, the direction that the opponent will have the less chance of making a tackle. And that's uh, what you guys want to do. And as I was saying, double tap the R1 button. They will let the ball roll along their foot to try and obviously get into a better position to either beat the defender or get a shot off. But lads, that's a short and sweet episode for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is uh, a simple tip, but it's very, very important. I can't stress to you enough. Um, but uh, yeah, as always, um, you know, drop a like, sub. We are, you know, 17K. So thank you, lads, for the bottom of my heart. We're nearly at 20. Um, you know, we're, we're so close. So thank you for your ongoing support. It is absolutely amazing. But I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sayonara. Au revoir. And goodbye.